how to create a Google form. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can create a form within Google form. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now go to Google forms. What you could do is you can go into the app section over here within your Google apps, scroll down and you will find the forms option right here, or you can access forms over here from the hamburger menu. And if you're using any of the Google apps, you can quickly switch to any of these applications right here and you will see forms is right. And you will be arrived over here into this page. Now let's go ahead and create our own custom form. You can even, you know, use some of these templates options right here, uh, even registration, RSVP, contact, any of these templates if you want, or you can create your own custom one. So let's go ahead and create a custom form. So for this one, let's go ahead and create a employee form. So when you click on the create a form, this is how it's going to look like over here down below. This is going to be your section where you're going to have a question and then you can add like options. You will see you have different types of questions right here. You can have like a short answer or a paragraph checkbox question answer or drop down file upload linear tick box date time whatever you want you can even add import questions add different titles and descriptions adding images adding video and adding new sections so let's go ahead and first and foremost rename this form we're going to go ahead and do it there we go uh you can even add a description for it as well but for me i'm just simply gonna leave it over here so first name and last name or we can say full name and boom there we go Next, we can change it to short answer over here. They can answer name or add their name, you know, and then we're going to click over here and we're going to add a new section. Now, you can also make this section required as well. So you it's not an optional because sometimes when you fill out a form, some questions are optional. Sometimes they aren't. So if you want to have a proper form, you're going to have to have it required on so that anyone who is entering in their information within that form has to enter their information otherwise that form can't be sent so i'm going to turn required on next we're going to add the second question which is going to be your address and over here this is also required and then we're going to go ahead and add like a phone number or a contact number again we're going to add required next we're going to add another question which is going to be and we have also required this as well next we can add other questions depending upon you but as i said before it all depends on you what type of form you're creating and you're going to add that types of question so as you can see it's pretty simple nothing too complicated uh you just simply add the questions you want add different sections add a video if you want or an image or you know add like a title or a description whatever you want and you are good to go so you can even add different sections as well so this employee information this section one we can add a whole different form within form so it's going to have like two forms so it all depends on you so for me i'm going to delete this section for now but yeah generally this is okay and now for the final one and we're going to change it to a short or a paragraph it all depends on you and this is also required boom there we go now we have ourselves a form now to customize it we can add like different images over here for example we can add like an image right here we can go to uh, google images and we can search over here we can add employee card or employee images whatever you want we can go with employee card right here we're going to add this one i'm going to insert it and for this one yeah i think this looks good and once it's done we are good to go then we can go ahead and customize it with different themes different colors you know go with a bluish or greenish or purplish color that we feel like it i'm going to stick with this one the cayenne color go with a darker background you know it depends on you i think the lighter background looks much better and we can change the fonts as well but generally this is how it is next you just simply have to send this form over here you can just simply click on collect emails and you can add different emails over here or you can just simply copy this link and send it to your employee group chat or send them one by one it all depends on you you even have the embedded website link so anyone wants to add their information you have embedded this link they'll click on it and they'll be taken to this form as well but it all depends on you and once you have sent the form and you want to see responses over here you will see the response option right here and over here you will see the responses once they have been given 
Once people start filling out this form, giving their answers, you will see the response of individual people over here in this section as well. And you can create a spreadsheet according to their responses as well. Pretty easy, pretty simple. So this is how you generally create a Google Forms. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below. I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. And having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.